So this is going to be another outfit of the day video. So today I'm wearing this. The top is from, I think the company is called Dare to Wear. And it's a corset style uh, top. And what I really liked about it when I saw it on, uh, I bought it on eBay, is that it has this corset top. It's, it is in, in one way very gothic, but at the same time it has this big floral print. And I do like to bring a little bit of color into my into my wardrobe. I just thought it gave nice contrast and sort of allowed it to be feminine while at the same time being a bit edgy. For pants I'm just wearing my uh, all tried and true goddess jeans. And for jewelry I just had this is a just plain blue spike color I bought to wear with this blouse. And here's a little tips. Uh, if you go to various goth shops and so on and look for these kinds of spike colors, you'll uh, pay $10 and up. I got this from, for $4 from a store that sells animal, uh, basically dog colors. And it's a lot more sturdy than what you would find in, the, in things intended for human beings. Because, so yeah, that's a good way to get spiky colors cheap. Anyway, I wear this uh, necklace here. I'm not sure who made it. Uh, I've had it for forever. And because I just, this gets very open here and I wanted something to spice it up a little bit. I'm just having... Uh, a plain, two plain studded bracelets on one arm. One has little skulls, the other little spikes. The other I have this bangle, this is from Glitter. And, but I have no idea when I got it. I think I got it in one of those uh, uh, blind buy goodie bags things. Other than that, I have uh, a few rings. Most of these are from eBay and yeah, just to bling things up a little bit. So, I do like this blouse. The only thing I don't like about it is that where this uh, fringe hit me, I thought it would be uh, just a little bit longer so it would hit me around here. Because that would have created a slimming effect towards my waist. But now that it hits me right, right on the hips, it sort of makes my hips look bigger, but then... Same with big prints. Some say, but if you're big, you can't wear big prints. And I say bullshit. Because really, if you are just a bit plump, then I get the point of wearing clothes that just look slimming. Because then you can hide the fact that you're a bit plump if you want to. There's nothing wrong with being a bit plump. However, if no amount of hiding is going to hide the fact that I'm fat. And then I might as well play with patterns and shapes as I want to. Now as for here, I just have this bunch of looped braids. It's a bit inspired by a hairstyle I saw on uh, Torin's page. She does hairstyles for long hair. But yeah, it's just basically just lacely wrapping buns up. And the hair bows are from... are from... Um, uh, Creepsville 666. So yeah, this is just uh, a simple fun outfit I wore when I was going out for together with some friends of mine for lunch. So yeah, I don't know how much else I have to say about it. It uh, yeah, I just think it's a little bit of a fun flirty outfit. And I do like, even if I'm goth, to just bring some color into it, just to get that little bit of a pop for attention. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Have a great day and blessed be.